Welcome to Pi's Park Demo on Azure HD Insight Cluster. We are going to work with HDI Cluster on Jupyter Notebook and perform many different operations. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to do Pi's Park Demo and work with Azure Storage to read and write files. Remember, all operations we do now are with the clusters that we set up in the previous videos on Azure HD Insights instance. Azure Storage Blob WASB, is used as the storage account associated with an HD Insight cluster. An HD Insight cluster can have two types of storage, default storage and two, additional storage. The URL format to access the cluster storage is shown. Remember how we used WASB to access data from storage in our video on RDD storage file systems? The method to access is the same. For default storage, you do not need to specify complete path with containers and storage name, but just the file name. Let's look into the default storage account of HD Insight we created during the setup. Go to Storage Account. Then Containers. You will see default folders added by Azure. They contain data, and various other information that HD Insights needs. We will use this container as default storage during our demo. Now, to read a text file as RDD from the file system, type spark. spark context. text file, and then the path to the file in our container. We are reading data files provided by Azure, and storing into the RDD variable text lines. Remember Spark Session is available as Spark, and it is auto-instantiated. Let's execute this. You will notice that Azure starts the Spark application, and executes our line of code. To see the type of text lines, enter, type, text lines. You can see the class as RDD. Now to read a CSV file, type the following. Spark.read.csv, and the path to the file, we will store the data frame into variable CSV file. Remember read.csv, returns a data frame. To see the type of CSV file, enter, type, CSV file. You can see the class as data frame. We can use CSV file dot show to look into lines of the data frame as shown. Now to read the parquet file, the command is spark dot, read dot, parquet, and the file path. We can check the type of the file and see its elements. Remember, read parquet returns data frame. If you want to load the data from your storage account, the command remains the same except the path details change, as shown. Here, we are reading RDD text file from container and storage name, implied concepts too. Now, let's do a quick recap on the RDD and data frame operations. We have already covered RDD and data frame operations in detail in previous videos. But every operation now is in clustered environment. 